Coucou mes pieces. Um, so I was planning on filming an unboxing because I got this beautiful box. I know it looks like a giant white box, but I took off all the labels because I got really excited because I was going to film an unboxing. And then if you can hear my lovely neighbors, the construction workers, I uh, decided to go full force hammering and nailing. And I started filming. It was just way too loud. Um, so... Instead, I am gonna go get my brows done today. I haven't um, let anyone touch my brows since I got here. I have like a very finicky relationship in that I love my brows and it's like you have to be in a special circle of trust to touch these babies. Um, but they're getting to the point where they're just like out of control, I need some help. So I found a place that does HD brows here, which seems like the closest thing to um, what I was getting done. Can you hear them? Um, back in Calgary. So if you are in Calgary and if you're in need of someone amazing, who's just an amazing human being in general, but does brows like nobody's business, go visit Noel um, at the brow studio. I'll link their website down below. But she's just phenomenal and we are actually really good friends now <laughs> after all the fact, but I haven't trusted anyone to do my brows since I got here and I was the girl that went every month to get her brows done. So we're gonna go test out this HD brow business. I thought I'd bring you along. Um, and yeah, the unboxing that I want to do today, that I wanted to do today, that maybe I'll film later tonight when I get back home, um, my other amazing friend, Noel, there's something in that name, uh, who is Hooker Lips here on YouTube, just recently started a channel. She started it to film the unboxing of my half of the stuff that went her way, and then she was at Amats this weekend. Um, like, she didn't start a channel just to film that video, but that was the first video she posted. And then she was at Amats this weekend, she just posted her vlog. Um, I will link her channel down below. But um, she's just a phenomenal human being. She's so funny. Um, she's got great days to make up. And she just, she's an awesome human being. So definitely go check her out. But hopefully, fingers crossed, the unboxing of the stuff that she sent me should go up tomorrow. Um, but in the meantime, I've got quite a trek to get over to this eyebrow place. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. And I will catch up with you when we get over there. So we just got them done. What do you think? They look good, no? I'll, uh, I'll touch base with you guys when I get back home. But I want to show you them in daylight. So we are back. Um, we got them all done. So I'm going to look straight on so you can see them. I'll bring you in maybe a tiny bit closer since they're so lovely today. It's, it's worth looking at them nice up and close. My head's never straight. Um, there they are. There they are without the glasses. So what she did for the HD brows, she goes in and she tints them first and then uh, waxes and... Um, threads them and then goes in and fills anywhere we have out in pencil. I have been growing out this one a tiny bit to match this one. Um, I feel like my head's not straight. I'm growing out this one a little bit to match this one and so we tried to keep that in mind. Um, I took a couple pictures in natural daylight and the tint looks a little bit light. I've never had them tinted before. I had to sign a waiver that said I did or else they weren't going to do it. I was like, well, it's worth getting the full experience. I want to like review the whole process for you guys. Um, so I smudged the truth in saying that I had them tinted before because I never have. And so she said she didn't want to go too, too dark. And I thought lighter was better than dark because I can always fill them in with the powder to get them darker. But if she goes too dark, there's I can't lighten them. Um, the tint should last about a week to 10 days. In the future, I probably won't get them tinted again, just because, I don't know, the color, I like the color of my brows naturally. I don't have anything light that I want to darken up, so probably in the future I would forego the tint. Um, but I was most worried about finding someone I could trust to get the shape right, and I really do um, enjoy the shape quite a bit. I think she got them... She got them pretty good. It's weird. I've been spoiled. Um, Noelle, who I used to get my brows done with back home, um, not only is super awesome, like, we spend the whole time chatting and it just sort of flies by, but she also, like, is just as picky with them, so she really, really spends her time sort of nitpicking on every hair. So I didn't get that same kind of camaraderie <laughs> with the lady that did my brows today, um, but I, um... I, I was worried while she was working that she was going to take away too much. I do like the shape. I have this strange feeling like this arch is higher than this one, um, but that might just be the way that my head is tilted. Um, so I'm going to put these back on. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. It was a, a new experience for me to get them HD done, um, but for any of you that were curious, basically HD just means that they use all kinds of different sort of uh, waxing, threading, and tinting um, to, to get it done. They did charge me 40 pounds, which is a little bit cheap, uh, not cheap, steep. In the future, again, I don't know if I would pay that much on a monthly basis, because I do tend to go usually on a monthly basis. Um, 
it was an overall pleasant experience. They, I really wanted to go because I needed someone that was that specializes in brows and I was going to give my brows the time they needed, and I got that out of the experience. So, um, I'm just trying to say, would I recommend it? Yes, like wholeheartedly, like I recommend Noelle in Calgary. Probably not as much. Um, I'm super, super finicky though, and now that I look in the viewfinder, I find that this one is a little bit higher than this one. Um, so yeah, it was a good experience, um, and there's a little bit of, of a vlog footage at the beginning, so I hope you enjoyed that. But um, yeah, I think that's all I want to tell you guys about. Let me know if you guys have had HD brow treatment on your eyes, if there are any salons um, in London that you guys recommend or you really enjoy going to. I didn't actually realize that these eyebrows, etc. is where I got mine done. Eyebrows with a Z. <laughs> uh, so I got mine done today, and I didn't actually realize that they've only been open for two and a half weeks. Um, so, yeah, it's a cute little place. I feel a little bit off. I wanted to tip her, but I forgot to bring change. I usually tip just on my card, and um, they couldn't take the tip off my card, so I felt leaving really bad. I tried to look for a bank, and I couldn't find anything, and it was a whole thing. Um, so I feel a little bit off. I just, in the service industry, I really, I, my sister gets on my case. She's like, you always over tip. I'm like, it's the service industry, though. I really feel like if anyone deserves to be tipped properly, it's there. So, um, yeah, I, it was fun. Um, would it justify the price tag again next month? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I might just go back next month and see if I just get them waxed or just get them threaded if I can get a similar result. But I will keep you guys posted. I did want to take you on the first little adventure in HD Browdom. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna do three points of positivity and I will be done. The first is the feeling of clean brows. Again, you guys know this about me. I'm really all about my brows and so it's just been driving me crazy that they haven't been as polished and so I always feel like when I get my brows done, it's like when I get my hair cut, I just feel really excited and happy about life. So that's definitely my first point of positivity. My second is, um, my amazing box that I was telling you about that Noel sent me another Noel um, set me is here right next to me and I'm hopefully going to sit down and film that unboxing soon. I can see the construction workers gearing back up so that might have to wait a little bit but I do want to film that today. Fingers crossed. I'm excited that it's here though. That is definitely my second point. And then my third point is I've been looking for a, stop, for a satchel from the Cambridge Satchel Company and they went on sale and I found exactly the one I wanted reduced from 120 pounds to 40 pounds, and so I got that. I'll post a picture of it on Instagram. My Instagram should be up here. Um, but I will post a picture of it. I got, in, like, embroidered with NYTDF, not your typical doll face, and I think it looks really cute. So, yeah, nothing better than getting what, like, the product. Like, I went in there <laughs> expecting that I'd have to pay close to full price, and it was reduced that much. It was always really nice. Um, when you get something you want, but it's reduced without you knowing, that feeling. Um, let me know what's been making you guys smile today. I'm going to go for now. Not without wishing you an awesome rest of the day, whatever it is that you're up to, and reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.